What's up guys, this is Eric back with another video. So smartphone screen burning sucks. And when you look at a device over the course of years and you see the screen degrade and you look at the display, you start seeing what's called burning. You have a static image on the display that just won't go away. Now they have some apps out there that proclaim to reverse the effects. I haven't found anything that reversed the burning factor of a device. But in this video, I'm going to give you some tips and tricks on how to slow it down, the burning process. So let's talk about it. Let's get right into it. Sit back and relax and get your popcorn ready and follow me on this journey. Let's go. I got three devices here. And the reason why I got these three devices here, because I got the Galaxy S6 severely burning. I've been having it for years uh, and I didn't know about burn-ins back in the day. So I always used to use this phone with high screen brightness and everything in between. But unfortunately, this screen has a screen burning, which I'm gonna show you here. I got the Galaxy Z Fold 2, the new kid on the block. Uh, this screen probably will burn in if over the course of time, if you don't do preventive maintenance. And I have the Galaxy FE, the fan edition, also a new kid on the block. And I wanna kinda of show you guys some developer options on how to force some things with these devices. First of all, let's go to talk about the burning effect. Uh, the, this device right here is completely burnt in. Uh, to show you guys uh, here uh, with, a, with a display tester. And uh, let's go into it and I wanna show you guys how bad the burning with this device is. So if you go to a, a bright uh, wallpaper, as you can see, it's completely burnt in here and there's nothing I can do about that. Um, yes, this display is really bad, uh, as you can see. And this ruins the experience. And I don't know about you guys, but I can't use a device where the display look like this. I mean, all the content and everything in between is gonna be really bad. Uh, if you go to your app store, you can see all this leaking through uh, the display. Uh, and this is what I call severe burning. Uh, it's something that uh, it's, it's just really bad here. So uh, looking at the viewing angles on this device, it's really bad as you can see. Um, I mean, it's terrible looking. And there's some things you could do to prevent this severe case of burning um, with your devices. Now, stuff like this is almost inevitable, uh, especially if you use your device every day, uh, something that uh, is gonna happen, especially with these OLED displays and, and stuff like that, you will start seeing burning. Uh, but there's some preventive things that you can do uh, to prevent that. Okay, so one of the things you could do to slow down the burn-in process or slow down faulty displays is using dark wallpapers. Uh, now, I use a lot of dark wallpapers. Not only that, but dark wallpapers looks really good and classy. Dark wallpapers turn off the pixels so you don't have you know the display running all the pixels at the same time. So this will also prevent burning uh, when you're using dark wallpaper. The second thing that you wanna do is lower your brightness. Now, this sounds really weird because you feel that if you spent $1,000 or $2,000 for a phone, you should have to lower your brightness. Now, if you're outside in, in you know, very bright conditions, yes, you wanna you know, up your display to the brightest setting that you can. But if you indoors or you know you have normal lighting, I would advise to lower your brightness. Now, I wouldn't recommend using auto brightness. I hate auto brightness, but I would lower the brightness down that is manageable, that you can see the display, see the beauty of the display, and not have it cranked up so high that it will speed up the burning process. So lower your display definitely to something. If you can lower it down, in the middle here, halfway, which is 50%, or even a little lower. But if you can't manage that, 60% is fine, but don't crank it all the way up to 100% and keep it on 100% all the time. All right, so the third thing you wanna do is get rid of your navigation bar. 
Now, I made a video about this, and I, one of the biggest issues of having the navigation uh, bar at the bottom is that it's a static image and it keeps those icons static. And sometimes your navigational bar is white. A lot of people have burn-ins, will start having burn-ins at the bottom of the display. So uh, the navigation button is just the first one that causes the burn-in on devices over the course of years. Having the navigation button on there will hurt your display. So go with the touch gestures. I know some people don't like it, but it's something that will slow down the, the screen burning process. All right, the next thing on the list is dark mode. Now, with the new releases of the, the software and the new operating system, they have dark mode embedded in the, the operating system. So all you have to do is scroll down, go to your settings and just type in dark mode. Turn it on dark mode. What that does throughout the operating system, it will have the, the device all in dark mode. Uh, all your icons will look nice and pretty. It'd be dark. So you won't uh, have that burning so fast. So turn your device on, on dark mode so you don't have those issues. All right. So one of the issues of even having it on dark mode is that most apps will still be in a light colored or white background that will cause burning. Give you a prime example. This device here in developer's option, I have what's called force dark mode for apps. Now, give you an example. I am going to open up Amazon. Amazon right now is in dark mode. If I open up Amazon here, Amazon is uh, has a white background. So right here alone, if you force the device into dark mode uh, with apps, you can force the apps like Amazon to go strictly dark mode. All right. Now to do that, you have to become a developer. In order to become a developer, obviously you have to go to your about phone, go to software, go to build number, and you have to tap build number a few times and to become a developer. And then once you get out of there, go to developer options, right? Go to developer options and go to force dark mode. Right, just keep scrolling. Some devices will be a lot faster than others. Uh, and right here, I have what's called force dark mode. And this what, what this does is force apps to use dark mode even if they're not fully supported. So this will force apps into dark mode. Now they do have apps that's already supporting dark mode, but they have a lot of apps that do not support dark mode. So this right here will force the app into dark mode. Now, obviously you have, you have to have the latest operating system. I believe Android 9 and Android 10 support this. I know these devices is on Android 10. So Android 10 developers options give you that option to force dark mode. Now I'm using Galaxy phones. Now if you're using other brand phones, I'm not sure, but I know on Galaxy phones, this works like this. So last but not least, something that will help slow down the burning process on your display is screen timeout. Screen timeout is very important. And uh, as of me recording this video, I got my screen timeout at 10 minutes because I don't want my display to keep going off as I recorded this video. But I used to have my screen timeout at about one minute or two minutes. And the reason why not only does it save battery life, but it doesn't keep the display on for a long period of time, which causes the display to age faster and causes burning. So, something that you definitely have to be aware of that screen timeout is very important. You got to remember, we use our devices all the time. So as we constantly looking at our phones all day with six and seven hours of screen on time every day, if you multiply that times months and years and stuff like that, you see that the display takes a toll, a hard toll, and it will start burning in and you will start having, your display will start going out. This is Eric the Tech Preacher from Easy Computer Solutions. I like making these tips and trick videos because it's fun. Man, look, I got 130 something phones, right? And as, as me having all these phones, I could go back and pull out phones from five years ago and four years ago and you know give y'all guys some updates on how the devices have aged 
over the course of time. And I'm gonna continue to make these tips and trick videos to help you in the process. All right, this is Eric. See you guys on the next video. Peace.